These are instructions about how to assemble a light box if you have one. So what you do is you do basically just put it together and you just put interlock the fingers into the holes and then you uh, put you some brackets for security. Then you take the light, the lights themselves, you use some adhesive to stick them in and then you wire up the extension card. That's the, uh, <laughs> that's the whole process. Um, for its use, you can use it with or without peroxide. I recommend three to six percent peroxide with a misting sprayer. Uh, don't please don't use a regular sprayer uh, until it dries. Uh, I like to use it. Check on it every two hours, uh, about five hours with peroxide. Twelve hours without. I prefer not to use the peroxide myself. That's up to you. You do what you want to do. I'm just giving you the box. Um, the process for assembly is you fit the, you peel off the paper, the protective paper. And you fit the fingers into the holes, uh, and then you um, then you uh, put the brackets on the sides. And after you get the brackets in, you will assemble a light assembly by taking adhesive and sticking the lights down. And then you wire up the LED drivers to the extension cords with the lever nuts that I've included, and then you assemble there. That's the gist of it. But here's a video to help make it all more clear. So I hope that helps. And I'll uh, see you later. Take care. Bye-bye. You're going to start with some brackets, some either wing nuts or bearing nuts, and some 5 8 inch screws. Here we'll start by laying out the two end pieces of the box, and then the two long pieces. Show you how it's assembled. Looks like this. And then you're going to want to use these brackets and these nuts in the corners to hold the whole thing up. One of the first things you'll want to do is to peel up the corner, of, get this protective film off of your plastic. You peel it back here and you'll be able to see it. I'm not going to remove the ones in this demonstration because I don't want to scratch up the plastic, but you can see the color of it here. Also, if you turn the plastic on the end before you peel it, you'll be able to see the color of the plastic that we're talking about. I was unable to film the assembly of this box with just the one hand, but you can see here how it's assembled with one bracket in each corner and the nuts are on the outside. It fits this Silver Age book properly. And I'll show you that just for good measure that it also fits this Bronze Age book, which of course it does. And there are handles on the side so you can open handles so you can put your hand in and lift the box up off the book itself so you don't have to pick the box up from inside of the the book up from inside the box itself. For a little extra example, here's how the fingers fit into the tab holes in the side of the plastic, and here's what an assembled bracket looks like up close, so you can see that. Here's a walkthrough of what it should look like. We're going to start with from the light itself. We follow these wires back, and it gets plugged into the driver, the LED driver, which uses these two lever wire nuts to plug into this extension cord. The colors match on each thing. And our side, we're going to start with the light itself. You just take the light and you want to put it into the light array frame using these adhesive stamps or adhesive stickers. So we take the light itself and we line it up with the holes and there are cutouts for each lamp in the LED lamp array and the two little wire assemblies. There's a red and a black one. And you can see there that there's a red and a black and they line up into these little square holes here. So red, black black, red. They line up. There's a little cutout in the back so you can line it up properly. Then, next thing we want to do is take two pieces of adhesive. I was going to put four, but if you ever want to move it, they're basically impossible to remove. So you just take those and put one on opposite corners. That will hold it firmly in place and they're heat resistant. Then, there's already one wire knot on this one. You can see the example, blue on one side, blue on the other. And then we take one brown to brown the lever nut. So you put it in, you just peel it in there. You might have to twist it a little tighter if it's frayed. Put it in until it stops, flip it down, and then you make sure it doesn't come off. Do the same thing on the other side. Push that down, it's nice and firm. Then you plug the LED into the extension, uh, the, sorry, the driver into the LED array. Make sure that's snug, and then you can plug the plug into the wall and if you flip on the switch it should come on like that looks just like that nice and bright and we can plug in the other side and do the same with the other side as well you can see what it looks like when it's totally on 
And that is how you assemble the light array. So we have light, the wires from the light, if you follow them up, go to here, which goes through the driver to these wire nuts. If you follow that out, it comes up to the extension cord. So same over here, it goes wires, plugs into the driver, to the wire nuts, to the extension cord. So we'll give you just a few more seconds to look at this so you can freeze frame the video or whatever you want to do just so you can see how the components go together. Make sure it's wired correctly. Again, brown to brown, blue to blue, and you should be good to go. Everything should work just fine.